Hello Sagittarius, it's my lady from my Lady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of July 27th, 2018. Okay, so seems like there's going to be some kind of transformations here um, and I feel like it's somebody is trying to juggle two things, two options, but I feel like they're going to end up losing them both, okay? All right. Ooh, okay, so we got the devil card here. And we got the love card here. So I feel like for some of you, it might be a relationship and it's some kind of addictions. You're trying to carry two people. Um, so And for this, I feel like it's a job. So for some of you, it's job and a relationship. Look at this. Okay, so it's some kind of heartbreak break coming out. Oh, goodness. This is not a good opening. Um, but it seems like somebody has some kind of addiction and it's causing them to lose everything, okay? It, no options. They're having no options, okay? Trying to have too much and it's not going to have anything. All right, let's keep it going. What's going on with the Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Oh, goodness. All right, so I just got the feeling some of you guys may um, be fighting for, like, uh... I don't want to say control, but parenting rights. And I feel like you might lose, okay? I feel like the mother is going to lose. And I feel like it could be due to um, some kind of addictions. But I feel like if you show, like, progress in beating an addiction, you won't lose. Okay? But that's only common knowledge there. But, but the addiction is... Ruining everything for someone. All right, Sagittarius. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. All right. All right, so we have the two of swords here. And this makes me feel like somebody uh, is... Fighting themselves mentally on a choice that they has to have to make. Okay. Somebody is definitely thinking about some kind of conflict. I feel like that's supposed to go here. So I feel like there's a lot of things being hidden here. And I feel like somebody is trying to... I feel like somebody's thinking like, what am I going to say? You know, how am I going to tell this? You know, I don't want to start any conflict or do I? You know? All right, so we have the Eight of Swords reverse. So it seems like somebody's about to get out of this mental jail on what they need to do about the situation. Somebody is uh, mentally free in their cell. All right, so yeah, that's my card that indicates things are going to start. Let me bring this down for you guys. Um, start happening very um, quickly. And this is also uh, some kind of balance in and love in a relationship okay and emotions okay so we got the mother of cups here this makes me feel like uh, just somebody trying to be sympathetic and and um protecting protective all right mm. all right so this makes me feel like somebody is going to choose to protect somebody okay and this right here, I feel like it could be their partner on something that this partner is hiding. And I feel like somebody could even possibly be hiding their partner. All right, but let's see what's going on. What is this Four of Cups? Give me one card for the Four of Cups for the Sagittarius. Okay. All right, so it seems like someone may be hiding money from their partner. Somebody could be hiding property. Hmm. It just seems like somebody's hiding hiding something from their partner to protect them. Hey. 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 I'm sorry. Hey, get over here. Come here. Sorry. Oh goodness. 
All right, so I guess I got to hold him this this reading. <laughs> so we don't, won't be able to see the cards that much. All right. So, um, yeah, so it seems like somebody's burdened by the situation and they're getting ready to try to let go of it. Okay. But somebody is definitely... Um, Like, in, into deep thought about what they need to do about this situation. But they're either hiding money for their partner. Um, could even be hiding their partner. And it's because of a lot of money, okay? A lot of money, maybe some material things. But I don't know if this stuff was found in the right way. Okay? Alright, so the temperance card. So it seems like... Somebody's patiently waiting for the right time to, to do something. So let that put them down. All right. Give me one card for this temperance card. All right. So, yeah. So it seems like somebody's waiting on some kind of bills or something to come in. The first thing I thought here is like somebody may be trying to evade um, child support payments or some kind of uh, IRS payments or just some kind of bill levy payments or something like that. Somebody is trying to avoid somebody's payment and somebody's trying to protect some the other person. And I feel like somebody's really thinking like, this is a lot of work. I don't want to do this, you know, but they're still trying to make the decision on if they're going to stay here and protect this person. And it is a lot of money that this person trying to hide. But when you really think about it, after a certain amount, it becomes a felony. Okay, at least where I'm here. So don't become accessory here. Okay, so we got the death card at the end, and I feel like somebody is definitely trying to hold on emotionally to the situation that's already over. But when it comes to stuff like this, people get caught. There's no amount of hiding. It could be like, it don't matter if it's two days, two months, two years, two decades. People get caught all the time, and it's just sorry when other people go down with them. Okay, you didn't choose to do that. So... Don't get mixed up in it. But that's all I have to say. Um, thanks for watching. And make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs.